Okay, for question 8, we are told that a straight wire, AB, is placed in a magnetic field between the poles of a magnet. The ends of AB, so the wire, is connected to a galvanometer, which measures electric current. So when AB is moved vertically, the needle of the galvanometer shows a deflection. So we need to state three factors um, that affect the size of the deflection. So the first factor is going to be the strength of the magnets. Now why does that affect um, the size of the deflection? So the deflection measures the current. Now if we think between these two magnets we've got some electric field lines and as the wire is moved through um, that gap then the wire is cutting the field lines which induces the current. Now if we increase the strength of the magnets what that means is that there's going to be more field lines um, within that region. And so as we move the wire, it's going to cut more field lines. Um, and so then the deflection and so the current is going to be greater. The second way that we can increase that deflection, again, is to do with the field lines. Um, so if we go back to having just our standard field lines in there, um, if we increase the speed at which the wire A, B, A, B, speed of wire A, B, so the speed at which it cuts through the field lines. What that means is essentially per second or per amount of time, um, it's cutting more field lines because it's moving faster. Um, so that will give us a greater induced current and so a greater deflection. The final one um, is to increase the length of a b so if we increase the length of a b so that's the region um, that's within the field then what that's going to do is it's going to cut more field lines so the field lines actually extend outside of this region as well um, and so if we move those that wire if we make that wire longer then it's going to be cutting more field lines uh, and again we're going to get a greater induced current or greater deflection. So that's your three marks for this one.